Well, the man wanted for a deadly double shooting in Savannah has now been arrested. Police in St. Petersburg, Florida say they took Derek Johnson into custody last night. Now, he was the suspect in the early Friday morning shooting to, on the Truman Parkway that left two people dead. And new tonight, we're getting more information from investigators about this deadly double shooting. WTOC's Flynn Snyder is live outside of Savannah Police Headquarters on Abercorn Street. Flynn, what are you learning? Well, Don, police say that Johnson knew people in St. Petersburg and are calling the search for him complex. Investigators are describing this case as a senseless murder of two innocent people. 48-year-old Philip Mock and 19-year-old Shalia Collins are the victims in what police are describing as a tragic shooting. Just after midnight Friday, investigators say they were called to the Truman Parkway between Henry and Wheaton Streets for reports of an auto incident. When they arrived, Savannah police officers found Mock shot dead with Collins' body later being found in a marshy area below the roadway. Following an investigation, Savannah Police Captain Alex Tobar says the department obtained murder warrants for Derek Johnson, who had left the Savannah area. It took hours. This was uh, a, a puzzle that was scattered in a million pieces, and what the homicide unit was able to do is piece this together. Nearly two days after the shooting and more than 300 miles away, Police in St. Petersburg, Florida, took Johnson into custody and charged him with two counts of homicide. We believe he had connections there and he ended up getting there. Tobar says there is a connection between Johnson and Collins, but that the two victims did not know each other. While he would not go into detail about what happened, Tobar said that Mock stopped to try and help just before the shooting took place. Oh, the other guy tried to help her. She was in some shit with this guy, and the other guy stopped to try to help, like seeing the damsel in distress, and he got smoked too. That's what you got from that? I don't know. And what the homicide unit was able to do is piece this together. Nearly two days after the shooting and more than 300 miles away, police in St. Petersburg, Florida, took Johnson into custody and charged him with two counts of homicide. We believe he had connections there and he ended up getting there. Tobar says there is a connection between Johnson and Collins, but that the two victims did not know each other. While he would not go into detail about what happened, Tobar said that Mock stopped to try and help just before the shooting took place. Mr. Mock um, was uh, trying to, he had stopped, and uh, what he was trying to do, he was basically a good Samaritan. It was a very tragic case because of that as well. So tragic loss, senseless murder of two people, two innocent people. Jesus Christ. Let me see, what's that, Savannah, Georgia? Okay, Georgia. See Savannah, Georgia Gun Memorial, man. I want to see what that guy who stopped. Cat, who what do you think of what do you think the race of that guy who stopped to help that black woman was? What do you think was the what do you think was the race of the guy who stopped and helped his sister while she was getting her ass kicked by this son man? Or she was getting into some situation with this son man. What you guys think? Who pulled over to help this woman? This sister. While well, she was getting into a what appears to be a, a dead. I mean, if you gotta pull if somebody pulls over, that's he, this is like some serious shit. This ain't like two people arguing. If you pull over, all right, let's go. Let's reveal it, man. Then and then without further ado, let's reveal our Dead Samaritan. Philip Mock is our dead Samaritan. He didn't know either one of those people. He just pulled over to help. Here's him at a restaurant with a, probably a granddaughter or a daughter. This guy didn't go home because of two, he jumped in the middle of some shit between two 
fucking sun turds. That sister, KB, you know that sister hates his gut. Just off GP, right? Like that sister, this guy, there's nothing this guy could have done to make that sister not think he was just a terrible person. Press one. Yeah, those who said glider called you, man. <laughs> he helped a sister who literally, sisters hate white men with a passion that literally, like, can't be calculated. Yeah, some will marry Gladderman. Yeah, don't get me wrong, but as a group, as a collective. The type that would date this guy, the type that would date our friend here, oh, she hates. The type that would date Buddy here, she hates white men. And that fucker gave up his one life. I saw that little girl. That There was a little girl in the picture with him, right? There's a little girl in the picture with him, man. If, if you if you see this. There's a little girl in this picture, man. And um, that little girl one day is going to need protection, man. And you shot your load protecting some random sister. This little girl's going to need protection one day. She's going to need somebody to jump out the window for her one day. She's going to need a hero one day. And this guy shot his load and died in the street like a dog protecting some random sister. At no point did he even consider this might end up with me getting shot. That never, that thought didn't enter his mind until the gun came out. Yeah, and and which it, is it, a problem. And, yeah, exactly. It, for anybody here at Op Nation, man, you anytime you get into a, dom a domestic incident, it's a bad idea. Two sons, it's even exponentially worse. You're getting in this. I mean, if, if, if it's sons, it just ratchets it up even more. You don't even want to jump in another Gladys domestic situation, it's just not smart. But you jumped in, you were driving down the street, going home, probably to get home to your daughter, and you saw this son man probably menacing or threatening or arguing with some sun woman on the side of the road you stopped got out of your car to try to help and now this little girl is gonna grow up without some fucking father and that sister probably if you go to her timeline she's probably talking all types of crazy shit about white people and shit You gliders are different, man. Y'all a different breed, man. Salute to this guy, though, man. I, one thing I want to do is I want to give him credit for being a good person. Cause like we 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 do so we, you can mock good people, and it's not always good to mock good people. I feel like some of that can be vanity, and I don't want to be vain, you know, or you know, like um, uh, what's the word um. Like a bully, like mocking this guy. Cause this guy's fucking dead. His life's over. He died on the street. He didn't even fucking make it to the hospital. And he thought no, I think what he did was very noble. Yeah, he salute to him, man. For trying to help that sister, man. 
who would have never helped him and probably had a such a poor, most likely, I mean, we don't know for a fact, but most likely that sister had a, just a, you know, quite a colonizer, you know what I'm saying, privilege. Even if she didn't think something negative of him, she thought he was a colonizer, gentrifier, privilege, um, unconsciously biased, shit like that. Just baseline shit, right? She was 19, so she probably got taught that in school. Yeah, are the girls 19? Shit. Here's her. Hold on. Hold on. Here's her. She's right here. This is her. Shit. You died on the street with this woman. You never met her. Look at the Savannah Gun Memorial. He's the only white guy on here. Yo. Press one. He's the only white guy. Look what it took to get a white guy on the Savannah Gun Memorial. He was safe, man. He jumped into the fire. He's the only white guy on here. Okay, this guy right here. Oh, it's suicide. It's suicide. That don't count. Okay, we got this guy right here. He probably got killed by something there too. Downtown, shot downtown. This is a tragedy. You talk about a fucking tragedy. This guy got killed too. Yeah. Yeah, he's the only white guy on there in a long time. Our friend, um, our friend Mock, man, Philip Mock, man, he's the only white guy on there for homicide in the last couple months since April. Damn. That's a tragedy, man. God, dog. Yeah, man. That's why I be telling you, Vlad, is the shit I be telling y'all, man. Because you can just dabble into that sun shit and you just don't understand. Like, like KB said, man, he probably didn't think that he could die like that moment. Like that guy would kill him. Hey, man, fuck mind your motherfucking business. Bow! Mm -hmm. This is sad, man. This is fucking sad, man. And charged him with two counts of homicide. We believe he had connections there and he ended up getting there. Tobar says there is a connection between Johnson and Collins but that the two victims did not know each other. While he would not go into detail about what happened, Tobar said that Mock stopped to try and help just before the shooting took place. Mr. Mock um, was uh, trying to, he had stopped, and uh, what he was trying to do, he was basically a good Samaritan. It was a very tragic case because of that as well. So tragic loss, senseless murder of two people, two innocent people. 
And tonight there is a GoFundMe set up for Shalia Collins family. The Savannah Police Department says Johnson is in the process of being extradited back here to Chatham County. Don will continue to follow this case as it develops. Reporting live in Savannah, Flint Snyder, WTOC News. And on that note, same bad time, same bad channel. Ah. Out of here. Peace. Salute, Chief.